Yeah, stupid ass me hit the stop button and I don't know how to sort of add on to other videos. So this will be a part two of Ralph Macquarie's artwork. It won't be as long as the other one. But anyway, so there you go. That's the middle part of the calendar, of the Rancor. You saw Paul Bassett there, which would have been a Gamorrean guard. And Luke Skywalker. So there we go. So, yes, yeah, sorry about that. Um, yeah, part two of Ralph Macquarie's artwork that I've actually managed to pick up. All right, I'll leave you to it. And on to the next one. And I won't press the stop button this time. Fuck, I'm a knucklehead. All right, back at Ralph Macquarie's artwork here and looking at Empire Strikes Back in the back to tank. As you know, there's no FX7 there looking on. There is a two on B droid. Supposedly hand and layer. Not bad. Yeah, of course that this guy here doesn't appear anywhere. It becomes FX7. And this one's interesting. Look at the design of a Tauntaun. There was meant to be a scene where a Tauntaun is actually running away from the AT-ATs, but they cut it out or they didn't film it or it was written in, in the novel. Check out the Tauntaun. Looks weird. Strange looking thing. But anyway, so there we go. A couple more Ralph Macquarie drawings coming to the... What, what month are we on? July. Okay. Halfway through. Alright. A couple more drawings coming up. Alrighty, here's a pretty fantastic one. I'm pretty sure most people have seen this. Of course, that's Wedge wrapping himself around the walker and another destroyed vehicle going overhead. So Macquarie really did some great work here, I reckon. It's fantastic. Very colourful and very well lit. Another one I remember having as a bubblegum card. Like preparing to get out of a snow speeder while an ATAT -AT is on its way to step on him. Pretty cool. Very, very cool indeed. Alright, let's check the next. So even back then when um, the movie producers were reading the script and they were going, what the hell? How are we gonna how are we gonna recreate this? And of course, George Lucas told everyone, including the artist, Ralph Macquarie, don't worry, we'll do it. And they did. This is a pretty good one. Not bad, eh? Man, wish I could paint with oil like that. That's fantastic. Another one here. The concept of Yoda. I actually have a Yoda concept figure. It's pretty cool. It's not bad at all. And so there you go, see him in his room. Alright, on to the next. And of course, um, most most of the major characters are realised. Vader, Skywalker, Chewbacca, vehicles. But yeah, surrounding uh, planets, cities, uh, architects, architecture sort of stuff, yeah. So they still needed Ralph Macquarie to sort of flesh it out. So he did a great one there, and another one here, dangling off a weather vane. I think that's another bubblegum card, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, it's a pretty good one, so it gives you the idea of what sort of scope they were working on. Alright, on to the next one. Alright, heading towards Ralph, Ralph Macquarie's paintings of Return of the Jedi. And of course, see, there's a fully fleshed Gamorrean EV-99, of course. We don't know what the hell that guy is. He never got used. But yeah, you're getting an idea. Yeah, I mean, it's the, the, film, the characters are so fully fleshed. He's just painting how it could look. He's not actually giving anyone ideas, but still, they're fantastic paintings. Wonder where the real ones are. And another one here. Jabba the Hutt's palace. Beautiful. Even a couple of the other blink and miss background characters. Ephant Mon. 
the claw to music guys yeah how cool is that I've never seen this one before until I bought this calendar and he's got something oh, it's, it's probably his tongue sticking out or whatever anyway so yeah that's pretty cool all right on to the next one okay here we go Luke on his speeder give an impression exactly how fast these suckers can go not a bad painting not a bad painting at all so yeah basically they're just using it now for impressions of pace of the movie speed where they are in the movie you know massive trees everywhere and again scout walker Ewoks even the Ewoks looked a little different until Creature Design actually sorted them out and what they really look like but yeah had more of a flying Ewoks but still yeah they had your catapult and whatnot. it's all very nice alright a couple more to go bear with me actually a couple more that's it last one so there we go that's the final one that's the actual calendar itself pretty nice scene in the Death Star trench run but anyway yeah, excuse all that noise that's cockatoos for you welcome to Australia anyways so yeah I'm a big fan of Ralph Macquarie I love his artwork I'd love to collect large prints of it I know I can't get the originals I've got all the Ralph Macquarie figures you can possibly get if you want to see them chuck me down a comment down below throw them in the sci-fi subscribers choice and that's that. All right, guys. Um, I'm having a pretty. I've only got about four more shifts before I knock off, and I've got a whole month off work. I won't be doing anything, but I don't know. Me and the missus might take off somewhere. Who knows? All right, it's getting dark. I'll see you all later. You all take care. Um, we'll talk later. Please leave comments down below. Tell me what you think. And I'll see you all in my next video, which God knows when, because I'm just expecting a ton of new figures, probably around April, not March. All right, guys, all the best. Force is with you. Always.